I saw this integral on YouTube. It's not an easy integral. And uh, I wanted to show here my way of doing it. And now it starts with the uh, substitution. Uh, let uh, x be half u. So the integral becomes uh, uh, log uh, sine half u and the dx will be half du, right? Half du. And uh, the, the, the boundary has been changed from zero to half time. Okay, good. Then I bring this outside. This is one half the integral from zero to half pi log sine. Now let me change u for x. It looks better. And uh, dx. Now here I have, I'm doing something strange, but it works. That I put a two here. Log sine square. So I just but for a half here just to balance enough for equal sign. Right? So this one is equal to one quarter one quarter integral from zero to half pi and log sine square half x dx. Good. Now, then, this is equal one quarter integral from zero to zero to zero half far, isn't it? Then, <laughs> This is equal to log. Now, sine square, half x, I change to, change to this, two sine half x, cosine half x, and the tangent half x. Over two dx. Uh, this time this one's half sine half. Time this one sine half square. Two two cancel out. So equal sign is there. Yeah. As long as I maintain the equal sign, I can do what about what whatever the integrand I want. You know. So that's that's called techniques. Now then, in this way. <laughs> Something happened because this one is a uh, this becomes sine x. This is one quarter zero to half pi log. The first one is sine sine x dx, and then leftover is a. Uh, this is a one quarter there. The integral from zero to half pi tangent natural log tangent half x, <coughs> half x. And also I have a two left minus integral from zero to half pi uh, two log two log log two dx. Yeah. Good. So this one is this. That one is this. This one is for log two. Yeah. Now, for this, for this integral, 
Well, I have a I have a video to to do that, so I'm not repeating here, but rather use the result. You won't see the detail. You can go see, and the linkage you know is below. So this one is one quarter minus half pi log two. That is for this integral. See the detail you can see in my video and the linkage is below. And uh, plus this one, natural log uh, tangent half x plus this. This integral is half pi log to one. Yeah. So this one combined with that one. Is a negative pi log two multiplied by one quarter is a negative pi over four log two. That is this plus this times one quarter. And uh, this one times this one plus one quarter integral natural log uh, tangent half of x dx. Now let me bring this out for discussion. So i discuss with this one. Natural log uh, tangent half of x dx. <clears throat> this one, I start with uh, Substitution, substitute theta for tangent half x. So half x is equal to arctangent theta. So my integral becomes Uh, this will be log theta, isn't it? Log theta. Dx will be 2. 2 d arctangent. So let me put a 2 there. This is d arctangent x. Theta and uh, zero theta is zero. X is a half pi. This will be a quarter pi. This is for this equal to one. Yeah. Now then, let me change the theta for x. Okay, I I like x. You know, it looks better. So this one can be done by parts, log x d arctangent x. Yeah, so this one is equal to by parts, this two uh, log x, huh? a chain of theta for x, and the arctangent x. So from zero to one minus two integral from zero to one. This one times this derivative, right? VDU. So this is arctangent x. I change x. This will be the derivative of log x, which is one of x dx, is it? Yeah, good. Now, for this, uh, for this, when x, when x, when x equal to one, no problem. This is zero. When x, when x is zero, this will be infinitive. This will be zero. So therefore, we have to do 
to do it, you know, to do by Lapita's rule. So I create this one on top and uh, this one on the bottom. No, one over log x, right? Just to create the condition for Lapita's rule. Then when x approaches to zero, this is zero, this is zero. So Lapita's rule says this is one of x square. This will be log a square, isn't it? Negative one of x. This and this one simplify. This simplify will be one plus x square x. Right in the log square x. Yeah. So when x approaches to zero, this is infinity. Now, when x approaches zero, this is, let me see, this is one of x square. This would be. X is there, right? Not there, so. Yeah. Okay. This goes all on top. I'm confused. All right, when X approaches zero, this is zero, infinity. This is one. Therefore, we are discuss this one, right? X log square X. Now, when X, when X, when x approaches to zero, this infinity is zero. So we just create under the Lapidus rule condition. So this one is equal to two natural log times one of x, one of x square. And this one goes uh, to two. Yeah, two log x. Times x. Times x. So and there's a zero, there's infinity again. Just go to log x two here one of x. Yeah, again, again. This and this goes to. Uh, one of x, this is negative square. So this will be a negative two x. Yeah, that goes to zero. Wow. <laughs> Several times over re repeating the Lapidus rule. Now, finally, this goes to zero. So the whole thing is going to zero. And uh, minus. Uh, two integral zero to one and uh, arctangent x over x dx. Okay, now things are getting better. And uh, here, here, uh, I'm using the uh, McLaurin series for arctangent x which is a one of x, this is a sigma, n go to zero to infinity, negative one to n, and uh, x to n plus one over two n plus one. That is a expansion for attendant x, so dx. Very good. So this one, I I, I can move uh, uh, something without x outside. This is a. Uh, this becomes a. Uh, two, natural. Negative two, octane. No, uh, the sigma, zero to infinity. Negative one to the. Power of n 
and 2n plus 1. And uh, this x cancel with that one. This x cancel this one. It becomes uh, x3, 2n dx. Yeah. Okay, so this integral is uh, x to the 2n plus 1. Uh, let me write carefully. This is so this becomes a uh, uh, 1 to the power m in 2n plus 1 square now and uh, x2 n plus 1 from 0 to 1. Very good. So when this when x equal to 1 is a 1, when x equal to 0 is 0, so this one becomes negative 2 sigma n equal to one, 0 to infinity uh, negative 1 to the power n to n plus 1. Yeah, that we call the uh, Catalan constant, right? This is equal to minus two. This is Catalan. Catalan. Catalan's uh, constant, which is e equal to the sum of the alternating series of uh, reciprocal of all the integers. So this one is this one is equal to negative two g. So our integral, therefore, our target integral log sine x is equal to dx huh? is equal to this plus one quarter of that. So this is a negative one, negative quarter power log two minus, this is negative, two g times the one quarter is half g. So that is my result for this integral. Wow, it's not an easy integral, but very, very, very nice result, you know. Thank you.